check, 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 check. Mic check, one, two. Everything sounds good. All right, let me roll this music, man, and get everything going. You know I gotta get everything situated, so if you roll up in here, big shout out to you, I appreciate it. I'm gonna have to go ahead and tweet this thing out, you know. We, we live, we doing it live. No. We'll do it live! All right, so we got this thing going here. All right, it is set out. I think it's weird, man. <laughs> I be seeing some weird people on the internet. What's going on, Holiday Tracks? What's going on, where you at, where you at? Dr. Indio, <laughs> what's good, what's good? 34 degrees out here in Georgia, ooh, it's chilly. Austin Pritchett, what's going on? DMG, what's good, what's good, what's good? I think I need to turn down the, the volume on this track a little bit or the, yeah. Yeah, I had to fight, I had to fight. <laughs> fight for my right to stream tonight. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Look at Mo88, what's going on? Oh, it's not, nothing much, nothing much, man. You know, I'm just following up to see what's going on with everybody, you know? Uh, Gonna do a little bit of cooking up, but there's some, a lot of cool shit to talk about. Damn, oh, William Harrison is this naive. naive. Thank you for, Thank you for the, sub. the sub. TJ, what's going on? Memphis checking in. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, we, we got a very interesting live stream today. Uh, we got to talk about some stuff. Um, yeah, we do. I might even change the title. Uh, I might. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change the title of the stream. Mm -hmm. uh, Wavy Pluto, what's good? What's good, broski? Output, co-producer, I'm just gonna be uh... Getting no games, deep dive. All right, I actually did a video on this. I don't know why I didn't reference it in the uh, description box so people that might pull up on this can, can see it a little bit later, but whatever. All the stuff is in the description box. Uh, not no games, so say. FL Studio for a bit. Beat making. Well, let's just making. Let's call it what it is. Boom. There we go. A little bit of an update here. What going, everybody? Much love from LA. What that weather looking like? Last time, someone told me it was like 75 degrees or something like that in the nighttime. Right now, it's like 34 out here. So, boy, would it be crazy if I was to go to Los Angeles right now? I mean, shit, first of all, that plane ticket gonna be going crazy because it's for our, for the holiday season. Bruh, them tickets, man, if you didn't get your ticket in November, and bruh, your ticket is gonna be hella expensive and I don't like that for anybody. <laughs> like, for real. But yeah, we're gonna explore like a lot of the artificial intelligence stuff. Um, mainly output co-producer I did a video on it not too long ago you know I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just pull up some of the references and stuff like that um, you know the video itself I ain't, I wasn't expecting uh, much attention you feel me I just wanted to put out some content this week because you know everybody's out everybody's out and they, they are outside everybody's out and outside so yeah we're gonna go ahead and explore that <laughs> You can see my Modern Warfare shit like right over here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Big shout out to Sergio for subscribing. Um, yeah, so, I, you know, I, I think those are pretty decent views. You know, 22 hours. I dropped it late last night. 
because I thought, I was like, nah, man, I, you know? Because the biggest thing about being a content creator is that you have to pay attention to when is the perfect time to drop a video, because otherwise it could uh, hurt the video. But dude, when I dropped it, it, it was doing above average. I knew it was going to do above average because uh, you have to pay attention to other things too that AI doesn't factor in. My, matter of fact, uh, while we're on the topic, and the biggest thing about focusing on something that AI wouldn't have missed, it, like, dude, everybody's at home. So this is different. You know what I'm saying? Well, most people are at home. You know, mo this is the holiday season. People are just relaxing, you know, having fun, shopping, I guess, getting the last minute Christmas gifts, getting ready to be disappointed on Christmas Day, getting ready to be extra happy on Christmas Day, uh, getting ready to just have a ball. You know, hopefully nobody's being disappointed. I don't want to put nobody to be disappointed. But yeah, I did a video on co-producer the other day and you know, I was like RIP sampling, but it's, it's not necessarily RIP to sampling, I guess to the, you know, a vinyl purist or whatnot, you're not gonna ever go for this. Uh, however, someone that is looking at using samples like the actually chop samples and, you know, uh, not have to clear samples, this is actually a good idea. It's a very good idea. Said, uh, no mornings be chilly in Georgia? Absolutely they do. So, oh, it's raining out there in LA? Hmm. Damn. So I, I'm guessing that uh, it is raining in Southern California if you're in Southern California. Ha. Um, that's a song reference, but it might be out of your, uh, your age bracket there, you know. But anyways, so when I wanted to deliver the news, I wanted to definitely make sure, and, and this is something that we was talking about earlier, because I, I don't think a lot of people understand when you are creating content, uh, sometimes you can create very good video content and you know just for me just case studying on my own just observing the, the place you know for what it is you know YouTube in a nutshell as you should when you are a content creator you can do a phenomenal video I, I got a, two or three videos where I put in days of work but they only got like maybe at best like 22,000 views and then they died and it's like, nah, that's not cool. You know, when you put in all that work, but the title, the thumbnail, those things do account for the vast majority of your clicks. And then the basic idea uh, from the title and the thumbnail is to deliver. If you don't deliver on a good title and thumbnail, then most of the time people won't even be bothered to click on your shit. So that, that is an art form in itself. And it sucks. Uh, the biggest thing that you have to do in those aspects is that you need Two, one, understand that you home need like more than one thumbnail. You gotta test one thumbnail out. If it don't work, switch it up quick. Uh, everybody does that on the on that are bigger. Uh, 22K is good to me. Uh, yeah, I mean it's not it's not bad, but uh, you don't want your video. I mean, in reality, I guess you know I talked about this earlier. We'll, we'll get more into that tangent in a second, but um. Yeah, so title, you gotta switch up your thumbnail. You might have to switch up your title a little bit. And I do that constantly because I see, you know, some of the bigger channels, they do that. Uh, when a video isn't delivering, you know what I'm saying? And it sucks, but sometimes you have to change up the thumbnail too. I've changed up thumbnails on videos that have been around for a while. And, and then once I changed up the thumbnail, more people discovered it, even though it might've fell out of the algorithm or whatnot. Uh, because it only takes like one person to watch your video all the way through for it to get popping again. They will reserve it if it was in the algorithm in the first place. Uh, it just depends on, you know, the topic and the uh, discussion and whatnot. But yeah, so you got to deliver on the video in the end of it. You know, and, and I've definitely figured some of that out. I'm not going to talk about it in, in true detail or whatnot. But yeah, so... I, I had like about four or five thumbnails ready for this year. I'm like, nah, bruh, people need to hear about this. And then I looked at the other people, other content creators that did videos for it because it, I talked about it immediately when the, when the news broke, but I did not do a video on it because I was just like, man, I got other things to do. And then um, when I thought about it, that's when the pocket, I keep on calling the pocket operator, but the KO2 came out. And I was like, oh, nah, bruh. <laughs> Nah, I'm actually excited for this shit, for real, for real. Uh, Co-producer can put this on the side. Boy, I should've did that video then, too. I should've just followed up, but I was exhausted. But, 
uh, this AI sampling stuff is it ain't to be played with. It really isn't. And that's what we're gonna kind of do in this stream. We're gonna do a, a lot of that in the stream. And I've been playing around with it all day. And some of the results that I've got have been shocking. <laughs> and, you know, I don't think a lot of people understand, but bruh, this shit is in beta. Like it's a beta. Like they haven't accessed the full power. It's not full power yet. We're, we're in the, you know, when uh, Frieza was still, he had, was still in his small horn state. And then he went to the freaking <laughs> weird, muscular, taller version of himself. And then he went back to being a small form, but he had no horns, but he, that was a badass boy right there. That Frieza, yeah. Kilt Krillin. <laughs> Kill my ball headed boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. <laughs> Insane. Yeah, it's gonna be it's it's already halfway there. It's not like what I look at as far as artificial intelligence goes in general, uh for what for what most people don't understand again, it's in beta, so it really doesn't have as much uh, information as it needs for it to be functional. Like, first, the the longer the machine learning is this, the more information, the data analysis that it has, like the more data points, the more functions that is brought to it. Well, they can add, yeah, all that's true. All the more functions, the more data that the AI takes in, uh, the better the model becomes. You know what I'm saying? At one point, just to give you a kind of uh, idea of what I'm talking about, at one point, chat GPT wasn't really that great. You know what I'm saying? Then it evolved, then it went public beta, then it went public, and then everybody started saying like, wow, this thing could do everything. And really, as content creators, uh, the, the content creator community kind of blew things up out of proportion because there are some things like look chat gpt is great uh however it's not like the end all be all but it, it can do a lot and it, it's 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 possible everything is quite possible with that so just to kind of break down what uh, the absolute easiest way to understand like artificial intelligence i'll use like you know your smartphone like you know we got siri on here you know, and if you train the model uh, for, uh, properly, it will understand your annotations and stuff like that, the way you pronounce words and all that. Um, another easier thing to kind of explain, there's another AI based model on there and that's the face recognition. The face recognition needs to learn how your eyeballs look like from all different directions. It needs to learn how your mouth looks like. And at that particular time, at one time, the model wasn't good enough for it to read your face uh, with, when you had a face mask on. So it had to, they had to improve the model a little bit more. Now this thing will recognize you with whatever you have, sunglasses, face mask, whatever. So everything kind of improves. What's going on, Quint? What's going on, Bluntweiser? So all those things kind of, once it's trained pop up, like to a level of potential, which it could be months, it could be years, who knows? It can definitely spit out some things that more or less we can get from it. But one of the biggest things that I saw in the comment section, and I, I was I was gonna address it in a video because some people they're just being ridiculous, silly, and that's okay. I mean, you know, that's what people do in the comment sections anyways, it's kind of be silly. But uh, there's people talking about, oh, that's all they're using is their tag system. And it's pulling up loops that already exist. I'm like, uh, I don't think they would get many, like a lot of people would have dropped Output Arcade if it wasn't for the solidified content being made by people. Trust me, they would have been dropped Output Arcade. They wouldn't do very well if it was the case, you know what I'm saying? And then not to mention, those are those creators who make packs for Output Arcade will be getting screwed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? If not, not a whole lot because Co-producer is 100% free, it's royalty free. So you're not gonna scoop up any back, back end money. 
which happens to be one of the biggest issues with sample pack creators in general. A lot of them are greedy as shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've dealt with a few that I'm like, bro, why in the hell would I buy your sample pack? Fuck you, I'm not buying it. Some Sometimes when you mess with sample packs in general, and this is issues with sample pack creators, a lot of these guys are extra greedy. Like they, <laughs> like if you even play, and I've had copyright claims on my on my videos, I'm like, damn, why would I even advertise this to people or whatnot if I get a copyright claim for just playing it? Bro, that's not cool at all. And they're like, oh, oh it's mine and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, bro, like, serious? I'm talking about with, with close friends, by the way. Like, are you serious? Like, that's not cool. Like, all right. Like, you want this and then you want people's content too as well? Like, get the fuck out of here. No, thank you. I'm not, I wouldn't be, ha I wouldn't be surprised that people don't buy your shit anymore because that's, that is a bit too much. So, yeah, I've had it. Mighty J Young, what's going on? Uh, the color purple Oprah all my life I had had to fight. Ah, what the fuck? But, yeah, so artificial intelligence has some things that will definitely change up some of the market for sure. It is man li listen beast with kev i've had people literally i'm talking about why why should they even have to white like for you to copyright claim or for you to have your copyright claim copyright claiming service be that egregious to where if i'm playing a sample that i haven't even chopped yet on a live stream and I get a copyright claim from it, and then I go to you to ask for that shit, like for you to remove it or to stop it, and then you're like, oh, well, man, you know, but no, I don't know. That's pretty bad for the consumers. That's a very bad product, and you should be very ashamed of yourself. I can see if I was just like putting the sample pack out there in, in a whole, as a whole, right? And then, you know, People could just sample it off of the internet, off of YouTube and stuff like that. So that that would be scummy on my end. But no, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm just playing a preview. And most dolls don't play the whole entire preview. I know FL Studio doesn't unless you hold down alt. You know, so. What do you reckon is better, NPC or doll? But what, what would my opinion matter? It was, your only your opinion would matter in that case. <laughs> I mean, if you want to hear my personal opinion, I, I prefer the MPC uh, over like for beat creation or, you know, groove boxes in general. But I think a DAW is absolutely better in all. I mean, it's attached to a superior. Well, depending on how much you spend on your desktop or laptop computer is attached to superior technology you know unless y'all want like five six thousand dollar groove boxes and i highly doubt they will do extremely well at on a mass you know whatever it might do good with like 50 people but it ain't gonna do good with like the target goal which is to establish a market so but yeah man the daws are better but i much prefer a groove box like an mpc and so forth yeah, but yeah, there's some couple of things that's pretty dope. Let me go ahead and check some stuff real quick. Uh, big shout out to the 58 people that are in here. Thank you for the 22 likes. I greatly appreciate everybody that's tuning in right now. Uh, we were just talking a little bit about AI models and some basic stuff, you know, just trying to give people a, a point of view or, and so you understand how AI works in general, because it's not difficult to understand. Uh, we, we work with AI all the time and, and most people, did, they don't even know it. Like, like speech to text is AI. It has to pick up on words, enunciations, and all this other stuff for you to be able to use speech to text properly. And sometimes they train it to where it'll learn some slang too. And almost every single AI based model in terms of voice recognition is extremely good. No matter if it's Apple or if it's an Android and there's a, hmm, this Descript. That is actually the best speech-to-text uh, voice recognition AI I've used. 
because it picks up on all my slang, makes my slang proper. If I wanted to make it, I can train, retrain the model. I can train it on my voice and have, and type in all the text and it will sound like me. You know what I'm saying? I haven't used it yet, but shit. <laughs> you don't think, you think I'm playing? I ain't gonna play with it. I'm not a, a doubter of this stuff. Um, what's going on, Young Three Rebel? He says, "Hey, Adam McCree, thanks for bringing the knowledge for us producers. My pleasure. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to bring it to y'all. Uh, get, keep it real with y'all. You know, <laughs> something that doesn't happen often. <laughs> you know, people uh, keep it real with y'all on some old uh, convenient shit. <laughs> oh, it's convenient. Let me conveniently keep it real with you guys. You know, I'm not gonna mislead you, but I'm gonna mislead you. <laughs> like what?" All right, so we're gonna check out some um, music radar or whatnot, you know, let people swim in here. It's about 20 minutes in, you know. Uh, we, we definitely, I have everything on the menu so that I won't forget it or anything like that. I always write it on my phone before I go live because I want to use my live streams for shorter content. All right, so we have, uh, it's like having a collaborator in your studio, but it's AI survey reveals how many producers are using AI and what they are using it for, and the top 10 AI tools of 2023. Let's see what it's like. Well, what, let's... They removed that article? I was just looking at it like earlier today. I just didn't, oh, wow, that's crazy. Removing an article is crazy. Well, I guess I'll refresh then, fuck it. It's not there anymore. But it's there. I don't get it. It has either been moved or removed from the site. Wow. Damn, I was very interested in that. I guess not. Drumio. I know there's something. There was a a plugin I was gonna do a review on too. I guess not. Whatever. Band. What the fuck is they talking about? Anyways, what Drake doing now? Uh, AI meets sampling, uh, whatever that's, cause, uh, close, what? Whatever, uses, as a matter of fact, let's just look it up on Google. Uh. Coalescent, coalescence. Okay, yeah, so this is, <laughs> that's funny. I wouldn't use words that are, out of the, the normal dumbass person like me's uh, reach. <laughs> so Dylan Bastion's uh, latest Maxwell Live device is a neural, call it what? Whatever. Uh, Multi-sampler that uses neural networks to organize, analyze, and play back sample slices. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and see what this is about real quick so we can understand what the fudge is going on. Let's go ahead and let's get this joint here. Uh, welcome to the stream. If you are swimming in, we're about to get started in a sec, but we, we gotta check out some shit. I gotta more than one. All right, so, all right, it's a bunch of jibber jabber so far, or is that just what they did? Powered by a neural network. Well, three playback modes, with three playback modes. Okay. Hmm. See, my only thing with uh, the, you know, when you use something like AI and stuff like that, or whatever the case may be, or when you're demonstrating a plugin, if there is no explanation of what it does, it's like, why would people even see the value in this? You know what I'm saying? Unless it's like free and then you get to test it out and then a lot of people will find it. But yeah, nine times out of 10 Ableton uh, person. And mind you, I'm not knocking someone for getting their money. I'm just knocking someone for if they, you know, if they want money and nobody sees the idea of it. Thank you. 
and so forth. All right, whatever. Okay, uh, electronic musician and software developer Dylan uh, Maxwell Live devices are amongst are among some of the most creative tools we've seen developed for the platform. Whether it's a sequencer based on emulation of a bouncy ball or a synth that lets a singing flock of birds loose into your Ableton Live set, all of Bastion's tools take a refreshingly unique approach to music creation okay so that makes sense to what he had there okay i uh, i don't know i'm just i've lost all interest in it it's 30 bucks though so that's not a bad price good luck anyway so uh ai meat sampling oh okay that's the same goddamn thing and now what another article here master channel unveils the world's first ai clone of a mastering engineer uh, wes clark ai it opens up what i can deliver to a much wider audience okay all right so someone is trying to clickbait people into buying the plugin i guess uh, automated mastering platform master channel has announced the release of a ai clone of mastering engineer wes clark uh, known for working with beyonce is it me is it me but almost every single uh, engineer that's in our space that's active the first thing that they lead with or the first artist that they lead with is beyonce i'm just saying am i the only person that has noticed that like i'm just saying bro uh wes clark's ai is a tool that's set to capture Clark's unique style of mastering along with the expertise that le led him to win two Grammy awards. Really? Um, all right. In the same way that AI vocal cloning always, oh, I mean, allows us to mimic the voice of a famous artist and apply it to our own, uh, Master Channel's platform analyzes the work of an engineer, replicates their unique approach to mastering, and applies it to uh, this. Uh, applies this to any song that pro uh, processes that's processed by it. Oh my God! Damn it! No. We'll do it live. Fuck it! All right. So uh, Clark has officially licensed his talent to Master Channel's platform and will receive 100% of all additional revenue generated by his AI clone. What? Okay. Uh, and it has been cloned by AI in a fashion and points out towards a future where the styles of everything from an artist's voice to their instrumental uh, playing and approach to, to production can be captured using machine learning, licensed and recreated by fans. Now, I definitely have seen you know, the trend of people using other, uh, like artist voices and making their own songs and stuff like that. And if I'm not mistaken, the Grammys have by all means, uh, made a subcategory about the best AI song. I remember something of that order. I don't I, look allegedly at this point until I can bring up the facts and, and say that is the actual thing. But I do know that YouTube has changed certain policies or whatnot. And now you are, you have to, if you're going to deep fake on YouTube, you need to uh, make sure that you uh, reveal that it is a deep fake or your channel will be deleted. Um, if you deep fake an a existing entertainer, politician and so forth. As a matter of fact, I think before the AI stuff was really taking off in 2023, uh, it was in 2022 and early 2023. Uh, the biggest issue was people were taking other people's YouTube channels via doing the email thing where they would tell you, you know, uh, you, you're going to be a part of an affiliate program or we got to do a sponsorship. And it was taking people's YouTube channels and then repurposing the, their big YouTube channels with deep fakes of Elon Musk talking about stuff. And it was to sell like a, a non existing cryptocurrency that was an actual thing so you know youtube saw that there was a market for it however they saw that there was a counter market for it and that goes into question here what uh, i ask everybody 
Uh, do y'all think that artificial uh, intelligence is either bad or good? Because in my opinion, it's neither one. It's just a technology. It just depends on the people who use it. There's going to be people that use AI for bad. Just like I think a lot of people for that are going to use co-producer once they realize that there are certain prompts that you can do. And I've been playing with it that you can, you can make drum packs, <laughs> sample packs and so forth. And then most people, they're probably just trying to figure out, you know, how, how they would could, you know, make it easier on them to sell sample packs. You know, the people that come from the less uh, knowledgeable side of YouTube and that's not a dig. Well, it is a dig, but it's kind of the truth, too, because there are people that are from the low hanging fruit part of YouTube and they, you know, they always look for a quick buck. And, you know, those scammers, even though people are kind of, you know, they are aware of scammers, but they're not aware of the scam. You know what I'm saying? So I see a lot of the bad that can come out of it, but I'd also see the good that can come out of it if people are just utilizing it, you know, for what it is or just being flat out honest. Like I made this pack with AI or something like that, or you know, and you don't got to reveal your prompts. You could just say, you know, I just developed it with AI and wherever you can cite your source if you want to or not. But as long as you're letting people know that and if it's really good, people will be amazed by it. They'll support it, whether it be free or not. So that won't happen that often. I know the other the other is more likely because that's the, where most of the money is at. But you can see where YouTube is taking it because now they're allowing it. But at full disclosure to your audience that is a deep fake and not for you to use it for, you know, scamming and stuff like that, which has already been the case. So, you know, uh, in, in hindsight, it's something that's more related to what we do though. Um, they, like a lot of the major artists and stuff like that have signed special deals for their vocals and stuff like that. And uh, this AI based model, Master Channel, their AI based model, they're just getting ahead of the times and doing the exact same thing over here for the technical aspect of it. But I mean, dude, Lander is this, and I, it's hard, I, I'll be hard pressed to feel like, oh, well, Master Channel <laughs> is, is doing uh, something better than Lander or Isotope Ozone, depending on which, one, which version you use, of course. But though they exist too. Like they already exist, they've been around for quite a while, and it's just hard for me to be convinced that you know master channel does it better but it's not necessarily about if one company does it better it's about who advertises it the best you know you feel what i'm saying that's usually the case so but anyway so yeah that was that article there but that's interesting to, to hear that you know they got a company master channel you know let's find out more from master channel website i'm pretty sure that's an affiliate link but whatever uh west clark you know he produced for Beyonce. <laughs> they always put that out there first. Like, oh, he, he did Beyonce. I guess that's like for... <laughs> Never mind. I'm not going to go there. Not tonight. Neo Lofi, what's going on? Lord, what's going on? Uh, DJ Big Scully Games and Music, what's good? Uh, Lost, what's popping? Uh, what, is, what is going on? Yeah. We live. 9.45, Wednesday night. Uh, Wednesday night is usually the club night for us grown, grown folk. I, I can imagine the club is packed right now. <laughs> the club. <laughs> the club is packed. Oh, you could try it out too. Uh, I'll save that for a video. Let's do that. I'll just, uh, matter of fact, instead of doing that, I'll just drag it over here. Bing. I'll save that for a video so we could talk about that. It's always fun. James Robinson, I ain't seen this guy in like 100,000 years. Uh, AI is great check. Uh, GPT could use some work. Ha ha. Uh, well, if you're not paying for uh, chat GPT service, you're not getting the full service anymore. They made sure of that. Um, <laughs> trust me, I get, I get some masterful results with chat GPT, but I'm paying them uh, a lot of money a year. Anywho. Uh, let's get to the proceedings of the evenings. Uh, let's check out this. Matter of fact, I'm going to refresh and do that. Um, okay. I got to I guess I got to go in here and, um, I'll, I'll do some, uh, do that. I'll light it up later. <laughs> I'll light it up later. 
All right, so uh, uh, uh. oh, whoops, that's definitely not it. Mm -mm. Uh. Everybody looking for AI to get that dealer swing. Ha. Uh, no, I, I put I put that in earlier to see what what it was because um, what we're gonna do is this like I want to explain it. So when you're working with uh, AI, AI based model or whatnot, detail is everything. Like you're supposed to look at the example prompts right here. It says simple heavy synth drone with only a simple hi hat loop on top, a Kia B minor 80 BPM. You see how descriptive that is. That's not like you just writing piano chords. Like if I was to type in jazz piano chords for the one millionth time, like if I was just to do that, and you know, I get what I get. You know what I'm saying? Like I get what I get. I can't complain about that. Oh yeah, yeah. The sample it site is pretty dope there, Mighty J Young. Uh, big shout out to Emily, by the way, with her um, thick ass. <laughs> she ever come to Atlanta? Hopefully, she ain't got no man uh, <laughs> or no husband. I can give a damn about a boyfriend. If it's just, if it's just a boyfriend, it's a violation. <laughs> You ain't serious. But anyway, so if you just put in something like jazz piano chords, you're gonna get what you get. Now, one thing I have noticed is that I'm hearing uh, some of the same shit. Like I've heard that before. That was actually in the video. And that's what made me also think to myself, like, cause there were certain people that are making some claims like, oh man, this is coming from uh, Output Arcade. And I was like, I was like, nah. And then I, I, you know, type it in the same prompt. It's like, come on, jazz piano chords, and that comes up again. Mm, that's a little sus, bro. Like, that's a little sus. Yeah, so. Uh, let me go ahead and turn this down just a little bit because um, it is a little loud. Yeah. Uh, yeah, being descriptive. Otherwise, you're going to get pretty much the same thing. Now, one of the things that I don't know. And who knows, it could be that they have, you know, it needs a database already existing a database. So it, it will make sense if their database was um, output arcade, but that doesn't mean that it necessarily has to be the loops itself. It just could be the database where it can pull something from. Just like, for example, uh, Dolly, how Dolly works is like this. It, it pulls from stock photos all over the internet. So if you type in MPC, blah, 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 it'll do its best there. And, you know, Dolly comes up with some things that is, are usable, but at the same time, Dolly doesn't. You know, it, it, I've typed in MPC a couple of times, and I'm like, dude, this shit does not look anything near like an MPC 3000. You know what I'm saying? I think I got Dolly over here somewhere. Uh, uh, and Dolly, are you around anymore? Yeah, I know I pushed all my stuff down here. I, I can erase all this because that was this uh, holiday season shit. No. Did I delete Dolly? That was stupid. Or did I put all my AI tools in one folder? Yeah, I think I did. Video tools. Da -da 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 -da. AI. It should be a, a folder called AI tools. Let me see. I got some, uh, well, I ain't got no porn or anything like that, but I do got some porn. <laughs> Some some shit. Shopping? What the fuck? Where the fuck is my my bookmarks? Hmm. I should have one for AI tools. Huh. Oh, there it goes. Hmm. Dolly. Anyways, so let, let's just get back to it. And I pressed the button. What the fuck? Oh, there it goes. Uh, I need to update my damn uh, audio fuse. Uh, let's see here. No, not yet. Not yet, Acheria. <laughs> but, uh, I would... <sighs> Son of a bitch. I closed it on, on accident. And I'm gonna lower the volume. Cancel. 
So that way we don't have to um any clipping. Like I I noticed some of some of the stuff does pop up this about the same like this right here this sounds similar to what I had in the video but it doesn't have certain things that I expressed in the prompt this this somewhat does too but it also is playing a little different so that's why I was like oh okay so maybe not that one's for sure yeah yeah you know what I'm saying so yeah, jazz piano, let's do jazz piano chords. Let's do uh four, four time signature. That was another thing that I totally forgot to do. Four, four time signature, or no, no, no. Let's do six, four, six, four time signature. Um, uh, what, how would I write? Okay, I'll put A flat major. All right. Um, let's see here. Do I even want to put lo-fi in there? I'll put subtle. Uh, I spelled subtle wrong. That might be a, a SB. What? What? Um, fret bass. <clears throat> Partial. Um, my spelling is being exposed. Hey, look, I'm not the smartest person in the world. Partial jazz brush drums. Um, what else? What else? What else? And uh, we'll, I'll I'll let y'all guys um, come up with a prompt. Like matter of fact, drop a, drop a prompt. We can check one out. So make sure that you drop one in the comments right now or in the chat. Uh, and I, and I'll I will copy and paste in here. S um, s sine wave. Let's really fuck with it. Sine wave. Synth lead. Female vocals. I, I noticed that it doesn't pull up female vocals that like that. Um, hmm. What else can I put in there? Soft violin strings. There we go. <laughs> this man. Uh, like, give me, James, give me a full on prompt. Like, not just like the, the progression. Oh, Matt, damn. We'll, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. I, I meant to put A flat major seventh or actually a ninth. We'll do that next time. Let, let's see what it comes up with. I already know because uh, when I did my other test, I was just like, OK, so it's not just straight up pulled off of there. This man said three, four time signature. <laughs> yeah, three, four. <laughs> Damn, like a wants? <laughs> if man wants a wants, that's cool though. Do uh, dominant seven chord progression? Ew. Ew. <laughs> what? Dominant seven sounds so up. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, what, what do we got here? 
Uh, it just did some female vocals, okay. Uh, so it wasn't a 6-4 time signature. It was a sine wave in there. Synth lead. I didn't necessarily, I heard a bass, but I didn't sound like a fret bass. I put brush sticks in there next. Brush sticks. Take him and tell. Take him and tell. Sounds like white eye peas. Oh, that's that new Kanye boy. So why, why would he even come up with that? What? Whoa. This is somewhat decent. I hear the violin. So nothing came out in a 6-4 time signature. Um, that was a horrible A flat major. Oh my, that was ugly. Uh, <laughs> uh, ooh. Hey, AI is bad at math. Ha! Something that's already on the computer is bad at times. Time signatures is crazy. This might be the best one, but I wouldn't vote it up because I know they will collect that data to be like, yeah, no. All right, let's go ahead. All right, so I improved it. Jet, hold on. So, Rose Piano, at Ele Echo Leto, what? Uh, pin message, report message, no. So I can't simply, oh, there we go. All right, so let's see. All right, so you gotta be a little bit more descriptive than, what the fuck was that? Why in the hell did this do a comma? Wow, <sighs> whatever. Oh, oh, cause I couldn't highlight it. I see, there we go. So, uh, maybe if I take out the word time, I don't know. I'll leave it there. F sharp minor, 80 BPM. I didn't, I don't think I put it in the BPM, did I? Mm, yeah, I didn't do that. Uh, dominant seven chord progression, road piano. Uh, okay. Let's get it. I'm waiting for James to come up with a melodic lo-fi scale with crutchy hip-hop beat, boots in the background, 90 BPM, Scratch Monkey. Said vocoded choir chants. Uh, create jazz hip hop with soulful female vocals, blended smooth jazz with contemporary captivating rhythm, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I I'll fix that up a little bit. Because you forgot the BPM. Come on. Rendering audio. Let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
Alright. But I liked it, but I didn't hear it. I hear more guitar than I hear Rose Piano. Yeah, the bass doesn't work. That's okay. Um, does it give drums regardless? No, you just type in something like no drums. And we'll test that out. All right, we already tested out lo-fi in my video and it, it works the way it does. People were like, oh, shit quality. I'm like, dumbass. I typed in the word uh, lo-fi. Like, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, do no drums. I just, not bad, though. Some of the things were okay. Like, I could, I could see. I can see where, where you went with the dominant seven. But that only happened, like, what, one exchange? Hmm. So what about this right here? Keep them coming, guys. I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go to uh, James after the other one. We're gonna see what what happens. Come on, man! Finalize the goddamn track. See how impatient we are. You know how long it would take on an older computer. Like if this was like in the early 2000s, it wouldn't be possible. Mm. <sighs> Gotta be a little bit more descriptive than uh, violence and, qu and choir. What's going on, Eric? So that's similar to this one. I like that. I'll download it. <laughs> Yoink. And I actually like that weird ass sound in it. This man said it's a human element missing. Do you not hear what people produce on a daily basis? I've hear, I've heard better stuff from this damn AI shit than I've heard on a on a regular. Truth be told, I ain't gonna. I don't know who needs to hear this shit, but if you if you dissing this shit and your beats are fucking worse than this shit, then you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> I've heard some dog shit ass music. <laughs> I've heard some pretty bad shit and I'm talking about and what makes it worse is the person that is doing the dog shit music really thinks they're good. That's the fucked up thing about it. So. I'm just keeping it real. 
eh, that one, eh, whatever. But there's some things. I mean, there, there's some things that I like and some things I didn't. But hey, it is what it is. So we got a melodic lo-fi piano scale with a crunchy hip hop beat with a lighter flute in the background, bass 90 p uh, BPM. So, all right. We're gonna keep this thing going here. But yeah, I mean, the, I've I've definitely heard better shit out the scene. <laughs> Some people's beats, yo. <laughs> Nobody's told them yet. Simling tracks, and I'm not even defending this. It is what it is. Uh, ancient violin with reverb chamber, 102 BPM with choirs of kids, C minor sh shakers. <laughs> Some wild shit. Uh, oh, uh, uh, I was thinking that too, Sam. Uh, I was like, you know, what? What was fucking funny? Reason why it sound crazy is because it's a band that's <laughs> like they held at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all that good for you. Hurry up, motherfucker! <laughs> we got all day. Oh, good old Gary over there and shit. <laughs> we gotta make this AI model work, nigga. How about that? <laughs> Get to work. Y'all always complaining y'all ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> I'm dying over here, man. Oh shit. Oh, I'm over here sweating and shit. God damn. What was that breakdown? Oh my God. So Melodic Glow 5 piano scale with crunchy hip hop beat with light flutes. <laughs> we didn't even get to the flutes. That's a kind of a cool idea. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. People gonna diss it because it's AI, but as soon as like Kanye West or somebody used that bitch, oh my God, what was the, how did they do that? It was output. <laughs> Kanye said, if Kanye West said it was output that made this shit for me, <laughs> y'all niggas would be like, oh, I don't know. People have been talking about he trash, period. For a while, it's like, come on, dog. Y'all niggas reaching. Okay, this is close to the to the prompt. Not bad, I like that one. Hmm, not bad. Thank you for the sub, I appreciate that. Oh shit, we got a beat that's still beginning. <laughs> that's funny, that's a funny ass shit. But hey, it's not bad though. Um, just that like what the fuck is that? Uh, let's see here. Who was it? Uh, ancient Violins with a... Let's go with uh, I Love AI. All right. Have I ever tried the Captain Pilot plugins? Um, the thing about Captain plugins, to me, they just, they just don't feel right. Thank you so much for the sub. They, they don't feel right, and then on top of that, it's just like, what the hell? <laughs> it's like, some, sometimes it's like, it's too much work. And the whole point of having a plugin like that, like for example, Scalar, it already comes with shit that's already made that you can kind of build from it or take away from it. You can kind of select the, the scales, the course you want. And it's just easy like that. 
That's the only thing I don't, uh, the accessibility, and you can do that with Captain Plugins, but it just doesn't feel the, exactly the same. So a kid's running, let's, there. Yeah. Okay, so we got some wild shit about to come, I guess. Uh, pause. Uh, let's see. Said, is it playing v VSTs with MIDI? Hilarious. Okay, we already did Neo Lo-Fi, 70s Starsky and Hutch. This man, this man, James Robinson, refuses to use commas. If you don't use commas, motherfucker, <laughs> like, what the fuck? Commas is this for a reason. Use them, nigga. You've been around too long. I'm treating you like I, you, I'm treating you like family. <laughs> I got, I'm gonna curse your ass out for <laughs> not following directions. <laughs> and now comma using ass. <laughs> Can you use producer tags using this plug? What? Can you produce producer tags using this plugin? I mean, using the uh, the AI. Um, it's not voice recognition. So it wouldn't be the kind of AI you would want to use. This is prompt based. <clears throat> All right. So we have ancient violins in a re reverb chamber of hell. <laughs> I didn't even see that part. We have a choir of kids screaming and running. Okay. Let's hear what it sounds like. All right. Let's get it, guys. Hey, that shit's kind of cool. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. That shit's actually dope. I'm downloading that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, you. Thank you for the idea, motherfucker. Got him. No. <laughs> Imagine being so uninspired, uh, uh, so uninspiring that you just take someone else's prompts. Nigga, you got an actual issue. But that actually is pretty cool. Let's hear what Pack 2 sounds like. What up, produce, uh, produce, oh, why am I keep on saying it? Produced by DJ Harry. What's going on, Hurricane? What's popping, brother? Um, that's actually pretty cool, honestly. To be, to be fair, this is sounding like some cool-ass horror shit. It does sound like from the chambers of hell. the same note but it sounds cool though yeah some of this shit is actually pretty cool <laughs> I ain't gonna lie can you use that you can use that in a Caselda type beat great for scoring and sync can you prompt to create producer tags no you uh, you can't because it's not based off of uh, a voice voice recognition. So you would theoretically have to make it have your name, say your name. So you might as well use a voice model, uh, you know, a tip that that kind of deal. If you want to make uh, beat tags, by the way. So, yeah, um, I, it's usable to me, to be honest. <laughs> I, I could use that shit. Hold on. Oh, I got you, Neil. Uh, all right, classic jazz. I'm, I'm just going. We're, we're just going to try his uh, mumble jumble. But you clearly have to put uh, commas. 
the, the break to put breaks in it, not periods. So it's a craft of jazzy hip hop with sultry female vocals, uh, make a vibe with rich roads, textures, and jazz instrumentation, pulsing of funk hip hop beats, and a sparse, busy bass line generated a lo fi vibe at 80 BPM. So I don't, <laughs> it's thinking. It is thinking. God damn, it's thinking real hard about what the fuck. Uh... <laughs> it's thinking real hard about old James Robinson's description. It's like, does this nigga know how to write props? <laughs> and that's what is it's having a conversation right now. And the musicians in the background <laughs> making these on the fly. <laughs> They're like, woo, I'm glad he wrote it like that. It take, gives us a break. We ain't got to go and rush shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shit. Said way too much in that description. Now, uh, it's, it's the fact that there's no breaks. See, when you're writing prompts, you're, writing in, you're supposed to write in breaks. And to, to break the, uh, the actual stuff up to where it can see what it what you mean is using commas like it clearly shows you up here like example let me go blow that up for all y'all motherfuckers real quick so that y'all know <laughs> you're supposed to write it like this right here boom boom comma 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 you know what i'm saying you feel me all right uh james robinson let's let's the moment of truth is here let's get it nigga here <laughs> thank you so much Missy <laughs> yo after all this shit talking I did for James Robinson bruh <laughs> oh man I, I know somebody over there output probably watching this goddamn stream <laughs> he said, hey, fuck him we gonna make it ourselves he gonna embarrass us that that simp sound sucks though. Tell me about it, tell me about it later. This is insane. Thank you for sharing with us. My pleasure. I wish there was like a maybe thumbs. I think I wish it was a maybe thumbs, man. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's okay. It's the one sound in there. It's like Ugh. I don't know. I might I might I might have to download that shit. Fuck that. <laughs> Busy works. Appreciate it. Um, yo, that was that was actually funny because I talked so much shit to this man. <laughs> it's like we like James, motherfucker. Fucking James is better than you, you bitch. And it's facts, though. James is really dope. It's raw. That making beats. Um, pack two. This. Yo, there's definitely someone that's like sweating their ass off real quick. Have to make shit on the fly over their output. There's. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it was going, whoo, 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 oh, what? Bro, bro. <laughs> the first one was decent. It's workable. It's usable. But that one right there is like, god damn. The whoo, whoo. I actually could use that. The funniest part of that beat. Oh my god. So it's like batting like, <laughs> it's like <laughs> five, four, ten or some shit. But uh, <laughs> the AI is about five for ten. <clears throat> but 
but it gets it right like once or gets you something close the first time. That's the funny part about it. That's it, it will get you. You get one good something, one decent something. That's actually decent, though. Oh, uh, well, no, no, not that wasn't decent. Uh, but the first one was OK. It was workable. And it's finally downloaded. That sounds like the first one. Hold on. I would remove, I like the vocal. <clears throat> I like the vocal. I don't like that one sound in the background. It sounds like horns that they're sparsely playing, but the horns don't seem like they're in key. I like the, uh, the piano. Uh, the drum line is actually okay. I would just remove that one part. And I believe, hold on. Uh, let me confirm something real quick. Because I don't know for sure if it gives you stems or does it give you the whole entire sample. If it gives you stems, that's actually pretty cool. But if it doesn't, eh, you know what I'm saying? Like, well, let's see here. Uh, give me a sec. What the fuck? I just dragged it over here. It's going here. Uh, oh, okay. So let me do that again. So, you know, there ain't no cap in my rap. So when you download stuff uh, from... Uh, co-producer you get stems uh whoa what the fuck i just lost it oh there it goes it's right over here that's why i need to clean my desktop so you get the sample pack it gives you all that shit wow track stems does it give you like the whole yeah it gives you the mix it get wow that's cool oh that's dope how big are the files though can I, can I get my file size? About 129 megabytes, okay. So, you know, not so, not so bad. We used to like gigabytes of shit, damn. I mean, every single time I download a game onto the PS5, it's the damn, <laughs> on a terabyte hard drive, <laughs> you get like three games. If you get Call of Duty as one of your games, that's taking up like 600 gigabytes. <laughs> Goddamn Call of Duty, you gotta get deleted after you. I'm done playing Call of Duty, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> now I can play like 10 more games. <laughs> shit. Oh, <clears throat> shit. Or on Steam, I, oh, you have to unpack for 50 gigs? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, Steam, <clears throat> I, learned, I learned my lesson from playing games on the, um, on the PC quick. I like, bro, either I'm gonna game on here or it's gonna be music. What's going on, Captain? Say. <laughs> <laughs> he says COD has his old hard drive on his PC. <laughs> it's absolutely bonkers. <laughs> and I know he's telling the truth. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't forget y'all prompts, man. I'm sorry. But damn, James Robinson killed it. James Robinson said, I'm my own motherfucking man. I'm a musician my goddamn self, so I'm gonna write the fucking prompt the way I write my fucking prompt, motherfucker. <laughs> <coughs> Just fucking copy and paste that shit over, you unoriginal motherfucking. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Hilarious. God, Napoleon Diamond. I'm not doing that. The last one was a fluke at Timberland's <laughs> Beat Club. It's crazy. Um, no, that was one. That was one someone had earlier. It was funny. Uh, <clears throat> all right, fuck it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do one this time. We over here playing a game, guys. We're just playing the prompt game. We just it, all you have to do is you just fell through here. Um, all we're doing basically is giving uh, the AI over there at, co uh, at output co-producer prompts in the chat. And we're seeing if it comes out good or not. Nah. There's been some pretty good ones. Um, one thing I will say, um, in one thing I will hope that they do in the future, and I know it has to, like this is not a cheap thing at all, guys. Like even though they're, do they're doing it free, 
<laughs> right now, <laughs> they're going to have to charge at one moment because first of all, yeah, you, you need your own servers. You need a, a whole cloud. You need the, the model. If the model is going to improve, it needs more data. So that means it needs a, they need a lot of space. They will have to. Yeah, it's going to cost a lot of money. It's not cheap to build an AI based model, especially something neural network period. Nah, dog. That's not cheap at all. Uh, now I can introduce them to some VC. Hey, hey, look, output. You want me to introduce it to some VCs? You know, I, I got a finer fee. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <coughs> got a little finder's fee for that ass. Uh, lift the noise. <laughs> What's going on? I, I didn't even see you up here. I don't think this is the end of sampling, bro. Uh, some of it's cool though. All right, let's see. Uh, I found one that does drill and hyperpop race beats fairly well, but trash at Afro beats. I would imagine it has a thing about. Uh, uh, thank you for the uh, for the sub. It has a thing about rhythm. It doesn't necessarily do rhythm very well. Like for example, uh, for y'all guys that know, like I typed in uh, J Dilla. That's this is what y'all uh, saw me type in. Inspired drum loops. Like I just wanted. To, I was like, how plain can we get have it? You know what I'm saying? I did this shit. But you know someone gonna come up with a sample pack and um eight away three or three funky palm mid brass hundred BPM percussion afro beat or uh, African beats. Hold on. Is that gonna make you uh, is that your style of production? <laughs> Yo, no, it doesn't sound like me. Fuck that. God damn. God damn. You making an 808 with 303 fuck palm and brass beats? I hate it. It's not. That's that's not how I make my beats. So. This co-producer shit is ass. Cause I know my 303 African loops are off the fucking meters, nigga. Shit. <laughs> <clears throat> I did not smoke either. Oh shit. That man said planetary country hip hop. Scott out Pippin, what's going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, oh man, y'all, oh y'all killing me. Hold on, man. <laughs> y'all killing me tonight. Don't do that to me, man. <laughs> oh. oh man, I know we playing the. Uh, <laughs> I know he playing <laughs> the prop game. <laughs> Just in this AI out. Yeah. This is gonna come this is gonna be its own video. I'm just letting you know it's gonna be its own video. <laughs> ain't no way hell. Y'all got me over here laughing. I ain't gonna make everybody else laugh at our stupidity. God damn, man. James Robinson held it the fuck down. I can't believe that shit. Damn, why is it taking so long to damn do a J. Dilla inspired drum loop? <laughs> Maybe I should have put drum loops. Should have put drum loop. Oh. Oh, shit. Fucking got tears coming out of my eyes, you motherfuckers. Oh. I can't stand y'all. I can't stand y'all. I, I know I want to do the Super Mario one. I definitely want to test it out, and see what the chip tune stuff sounds like. If the chip tune stuff sounds good, then yeah, that'd be crazy. I don't know if I. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see if what the J Dilla inspired drum loop sound like. All right, let's go. Oh shit! I already know it's gonna be dog shit.
Nigga. No wonder this shit is free. <laughs> there definitely ain't no Jay Diller. That's Jay Diller. No, no. I'm not going to disrespect the homie, yo. Not at all. God damn. That's like... That's like... Man, I'm trying to like make a joke, but not involve his name in it. It's not no, it's not Jay Dilla. It's like some motherfucker JJ Fish. <laughs> oh, okay. There you go. You saved me, cause I was like, hey, that ain't Jay Dilla. I was about to say something disrespectful, but not towards that family though. You know, I fuck with the family. All right, so pack two. Starting off kind of good, my bad, let me deposit. Not, yeah, not bad, but uh, not Dilla. And, and I notice it, it keeps on putting likes behind it, but I'll show y'all how to fix that. I like those hi hats though. I like the drums, but. So that's Kanye. <laughs> that is, that was more like, that, I agree. I agree. That's more like Kanye than it is Dilla. You know what I'm saying? I know Kanye and Dilla kicked it with each other. And so, you know, when you kick it with someone long enough and you kind of take in their energy, their frequencies, you kind of get your own inspiration and kind of, you know, play off their energy. You feel me? But that definitely sounds more like Kanye than it does like, uh, Dilla. All right. The drums are nice, but what the fuck is this drum line and this melody? Okay, I can't do that one. That one is ass. No, we're gonna help. We're gonna help AI out right now. So that was ass. Hell no. It's not Dilla though, but I like it. I, I, I'll be I'll be nice. I do want it to get it right. I like that one too, but it's not Dilla, but I'm just gonna go ahead and look, I'm I'm training it wrong. There gonna be people yelling at me later. J Dilla drum loop. No. No melodies. Just drums. I don't know. I might have to do the, the way uh, <laughs> James Robson did his shit. Type in Kanye. We'll do that later. We'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. Try Mad Lib. J Doo Doo. That's fucked up. Come on now, Max. Said, un oh, put it unquantized. Oh, damn. You know what? I, I could have put in a BPM. I need to put in a BPM, right? But, uh. I'm going to put in 90 BPM, uh, this next one. We're going to listen to it, and then we're going to put in 90 BPM. We already did the uh, gospel choir. The gospel choir was okay. Like, what it can't pick up on is, like, you know, I put in, like, black gospel or black singer, like, black woman singing. Like, it doesn't do that. So, so the uh, AI is racist. <laughs> it, it doesn't do stuff color specific. Hey, Joshua Stewart, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Hey, 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 welcome hey, to the Zupidity. You are fully welcome into the community. And we just do we nothing just but do dumb, nothing shit, over dumb here. shit over here. Damn, it's taking a minute. 
I guess that's a good thing. Because remember when it took a long time for James stuff to, you know, to calculate. And it said 50 quantize, 50 percent quantize. I'll say I'll say like unquantized. Maybe you might be right. 50 percent quantize might be the best uh, description for that. Hmm. I would like to try something dark orchestral horror loop. Well, it does. Uh, Alexander does do. I think I don't know if he was here, but someone else did like some, like a dark sponsor, and I mean not, not dark sponsor. Someone did a dark horror kind of description, and see that's why uh, what I hope that they do in the future is that they keep your prompts kind of like Chat GPT, so that way you can always kind of cross reference what you got. You know what I'm saying? That would be great. It saves some of the name. Uh, in the pack that you download, but I would like the whole entire prompt to be saved somewhere. So I think that was something for, uh, I know Output's probably gonna look at this video anyway, and I'm like, what the fuck? Well, why do we, why do we fuck with Ab McCree? He's not even talented. <laughs> He's an asshole. He's an asshole. <laughs> Greg will be over there like, see, this is, he's exactly what he was talking about in his own video. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Yo. Happy holidays, motherfuckers. Anyways, let's go ahead. Okay, so we the moment of truth. So this is J Dilla inspired drum loops, no melodies, just drums. Okay. I mean, the snaps are actually cool because the, the texture of the snap, but everything else is hot garbage. Hot garbage. 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 Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, it, started, it started off right with the right kick. <laughs> and then the rest of that drum line is like, oh my God, it's tragic. All right, so I'm going to write in 4-4 four, four, and then I'm going to write in 6-4 or something like that. We can't go out like this. Uh -uh. We, can't, we can't go out like this, dog. Damn, it's not it's not a good look. Pack four. You, we all we <laughs> you all we got. Damn, it started off kind of hot at first. It's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of. The little weird signs is kind of okay. Hmm. It's, it's not terrible. It's usable. And, you know, I don't know. Anyways, let, let's try to improve this uh, prompt. It's clearly uh, just drums. 4-4, four, four, I know people will probably want me to do 6-4 or something like that. 4-4, uh, four, four, uh, 90 BPM. Let's just use 90 BPM. And I don't want to put with claps. Side sticks. Side stick on the fourth measure. Uh, all right, huh, hold on, guys. You, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a... And then what we get from here... So that's a fair comparison to test with or without BPM. <clears throat> Hmm. 
said almost three months in and his ass what it just came out like last week <laughs> so i'll keep you three months in <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense at all <laughs> unless, unless you you just like an insider or some some shit uh oh i'm sorry guys i meant to put in 50 percent swing uh not 50 percent swing but uh 50 percent quantized damn my bad my bad gang i messed that up Um, then we're going to do, we're going to do, uh, we'll do the, uh, everybody else's results. So if you have a prompt, you know, just drop it in the chat. I'm going to see what I can do with it. Uh, see how it sounds like. See if we're going to get a giggle out of it or if it's going to be something fire. My bad, Neo. I fucked it up, my bro. Shit. It's going to take a minute, boy. It, is, it deserves this. I don't even think I got the Jeopardy music anymore. Nope. Fuck. Damn it, man. I need to uh, stop slacking and get my sound effects back up. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end up uh, just downloading. My, I'm, I'm going to uh, take a break from lifting weights and shit and um, get, get my life. Oh shit. Hell yeah, I need it. Fuck me. Damn. Did she really block me? That's crazy. Blocking me is absolutely insane. What did I do? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh boy. Oh, it's there. Oh, my bad, guys. All right, here we go. Damn, I can't believe it. I, I'm in a state of shock. It's okay. I feel like maybe I should put in a hip hop four four, hip hop, or or no 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 boom bap. I'm gonna put in boom bap, boom bap, four four, and then I'll put in uh fifty percent quantize. Yeah, since since everybody has that suggestion. I was about to say, I was like, motherfucker, what did I do to you? I didn't do shit to you. I just was doing my live stream. I told you. No kick drums? Damn. I, I mean, I still would download that for the drums. That's crazy. It, it can do drums. Motherfuckers making drum kits and shit. Talking about some, yeah, I got that Dilla drum kit, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! So that shit to y'all motherfuckers on damn drum broker and shit getting y'all. That's definitely not it. Oh, nah, nah, fam. Nah, fam. All right, this is gonna be the last time, man. Cause I wanna, I wanna check out the uh, the prompt <laughs> from earlier. That shit is hilarious. Hilarious, bro. Y'all had me dying. Y'all got me dying with some of these prompts that y'all giving me, man. That shit is hilarious. I then tried to dance music with a spacey and otherworldly sound. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Last chance to, to get Dilla some, some justice now. Heard some decent ideas. 
No, I could have downloaded that one pack. Fuck. I should have did that. Whoa, did this shit just crash on me? Yo. Did it just crash? Did it just crash? What? <gasps> We broke it, guys! We broke it! What the fuck? We, bro <laughs> we broke it! Damn it! Ah, oh, I gotta start this goddamn browser again. Damn. Um, hold on. I got, I'm gonna refresh. Damn, it kicked me all the way out. Y'all got me kicked out of here. Oh. I'm just having fun, Output. Don't do me like that. What if they did? No, they didn't ban me. All right, so I got to do it again. Okay. Ah, oh, that would have been fucked up if they really did. All right. J. Dilla. Drum. Line. All right, let me put Jay Dilla style in drum line. 50% quantized. Just drums. So we don't get no freaking melodics. <clears throat> Damn, what else do we have in there? It was, it was actually pretty descriptive. I felt like we was getting, oh, 90 BPM. Boom. Uh, I guess boom bap. Four, four. Side stick on the four on a fourth measure. Snap on the fourth measure. No, on the second measure, I'm going to do a uh, stick on the second measure. Side stick with snare. Snare. With. Snare with. Maybe I might be doing too much, but I did put four, four in there. Snare with clap and snap on the fourth measure. All right. Oh shit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that boy. Chat, chat be on it. Yeah. I, I, I mean, that's why I said, I said it was a beta. <clears throat> And boom bap, yeah, co of course, because it, you know, my bad. And let me go ahead and capitalize Dilla instead of being lazy so that we, so it knows that it's a name. Goddamn. All right. Hmm. Let's pray. Let's see. Now, I, I've actually, I, don't, I forgot the prompt that I did earlier today. Um, but the uh, results that I got from it with Kanye's style sample, HB, we'll, we'll, we'll put that in uh, next. And Timberland Bounce, hilarious. Are you a serum beta tester? Hilarious. Sort of, but I guess I might have to take the. Oh, it was it was starting to it was starting to sound good at first. I was like, "Well, where's the snare?" I gotta take out the measure parts.
sense too, fell on the drum kit. <laughs> it's wild. The, the hi-hat is good. The kick drum is good. The snare is good. It's just the, the placement. I don't know. I, I think the when you put in the time signature, it doesn't, I don't know. Well, that is on the fourth. <sighs> there you go. Oh, it was so good at first. Said download pack one. No, pack four is the one that I like the most. It's not really what I wanted, but all right. So I'm gonna take some of this shit out. All right. Uh, Kanye West style sample chops. All right. This is hilarious. Yeah. That, oh, damn it. I meant to download that last pack. Fuck. Said it's ready for Reddit. <laughs> Hilarious. Create a J Dilla beat at 74 BPM with Neo Soul baseline with deep round. Uh, yeah, we got it. Nah, we got, you know, we, we I talked so much shit about James Robinson's descriptions before his prompts, but nah, dog. I, I, I'm, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. So we're going to go with his shit after this. I'm sorry. I'll go back, I'll go back to uh, Lou's joint earlier uh, after, after I check out James Robinson's joint. <clears throat> I should have put in traditional boom bap. Oh, and James is over there testing it himself. <laughs> it's it's absolutely bonkers. No, no wonder this motherfucking ass. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Know what I'm doing. Because <laughs> your fuck ass is cheating, dog. You're cheating. You're fucking cheating, James. Oh, you cheater. No wonder you, bu you bust my head wide open with your prompt. Man, fuck you. <laughs> it's a fucking cheating son of a bitch. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Shit. I know it's an hour and 43 minutes. Shit. It's 10 minutes. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming! <laughs> Yo, shout out to the real ones who get that one. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I gotta, I gotta do this right. All right. <clears throat> So this prompt is, uh, we entered the prompt, or I entered the prompt. Yeah, I was helped uh, by the chat. And it says, Jay Dillard style, drum line, 50% quantized, just drums, 90% uh, BPM, boom bap, four, four, uh, Kanye West style. <coughs> My bad, I gotta do that again. <coughs> so this is supposed to be a Jay Dillard style, drum line, 50% quantized, just drums, 90% BPM, uh, boom bap, 4-4, four, four, time signature, Kanye West style, sample chops. And what do we get for the pack one? Okay. So, so the actual vocal kind of reminds me of something that Kanye would do, but that's not what we what we typed in there. But I, I do have just drums too, so you know that kind of probably overlaps. That's pack two. Mm -hmm. 
Yo, that is absolutely horrendous. This motherfucker Alexandro said <laughs> ahead of his time. <laughs> Man said it is ahead of his time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it probably is. Who knows? Who knows what we're gonna be listening to in 2030, god damn it. <laughs> we probably gonna be listening to <laughs> God damn, I hate this chat. <laughs> All right, number four. All right, here we go. Hell no, Sky Dog. Hell no. All right, Sky Dog said, "Make a." <laughs> he said, "Type in, make a beat <laughs> in the <laughs> like DJ Apple Crate. This is gonna be like." <laughs> It's just gonna be this right here. <laughs> they gonna set me up. <laughs> they gonna they gonna get me set up on here. Hell no. Nah. Oh, that is hilarious. I don't fuck with you, Scott. <laughs> All right. So now we're gonna check out James over here with his cheating ass, fucker. Uh, he, he's been testing this shit out on his side. I'm telling, God damn it. Yes, I'm going to tell on your ass. You've been cheating and goddamn testing this shit out first. That's how you've been busting our head over here. But uh, anyway, so I right, said create a Jay Diller beat at 73 BPM with a Neo Soul bass line that's deep, round, and fat, mixing the Louisiana drumline style with a slow pulsing yet quirky hip hop vibe. So basically, the meters. <laughs> I mean, for those who don't know, like the basis of boom bap, it well almost everything from the meters in in music they have have inspired all of us. Mind you, they don't get as much credit as like you know uh, Clyde Stubberfield, James Brown, or whatever the JBs. They definitely have emerged a lot of hip hop, so that's that's actually good. Let's see what the, what you got there. There we go. All right. The orchestra stuff that comes out of here is actually pretty decent, honestly. Say, so type in uh, Clyde Stubberfield. Hey, don't sleep on J-Bo. J-Bo was a really good uh, drummer for James Brown, too. Well, I mean, you know, James Brown just knows. He, he, know, he knew how to pick out talented mu musicians, clearly. I mean, the, the, uh, the Collins brothers. Come on now. <clears throat> What was the, what was James Brown's horn section? I used to know it. Maceo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I saw James Brown in 2001. Well, that's an honor. Uh, people don't know about Jimmy uh, played with him, too. Hendrix? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. It's all about the prompt input. The future music lessons will teach perfect prompts, and that might be easier than music theory. Uh, no doubt, no doubt, uh, HB. I mean, I, I can see that. Goddamn master classes on writing prompts <laughs> for AI. Uh, I mean, for me, uh, I think what it will happen is this. The, we won't need prompts anymore. We'll basically just be able to kind of, you know, just flow with our language in Norm. And the AI will be so good at what we want. As long as we can describe it, boom, and it'll, you know, spit out the good shit. 
All right, so we have created a J Dilla beat at 73 BPM with a Neo Soul bass line that's deep, round, and fat, mixture of Louisiana drum style, uh, drum line style, with a slow pulsing yet quirky hip hop vibe. All right, let's check it out. Pack one. So if you said that, if you said that it gave you uh, one, I mean three out of four, and here we go, three, three out of four, <laughs> damn, then uh, I guess that would be the one that it won't be. So, uh, all right, pack two. That is a no for me. Oh, it was so close. Yeah, that's a no. That is a no again. This can sound like blues rock. Keep exploring. We, we can refresh it. Uh, whoop. Uh, I, I give him a second chance. Said usable. Shut the hell up, dude. <laughs> Yo. Yeah, if, if you keep it kind of simple, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be a reach. It can do simple stuff. So we will see. Yeah, those were absolute garbage. That was uh, 0 for 4. No cap, I like the chat responses like usable fire because people will flip anything these days to fire. I mean, I don't, yeah, you definitely don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. I mean, what we do with music in general is we take something that, you know, it, is, it gives us a vibe. And then we take it and make it into something good or, or something better or what our take is, our rendition of it. So uh, the way I use, I would use a co-producer is just to flip the shit. You know what I'm saying? All I need is a little bit. I don't need a whole lot. Shit. We're just kind of reaching at this point. Some of the some of the prompts that people gave earlier, like the the dark chamber of hell choir shit, like that was fire to me. I would use that whole entire sample because it was just random shit. You know what I'm saying? It just gave you some random dark evil shit. It was good. It was dope ass soundscape. <music> Nigga, that sounded like some Pulp Fiction shit. Get out. Get out of here. I like the bass, but come on, bro. That's a no. I like it, but not for that prompt. I'll download that. Man said, co producer needs a producer. <clears throat> The way, and it's funny too, the way that Gary described it in a sense that where <laughs> he's like, and the way Gary described it in my video is like, oh, this could be, <laughs> we want this not to make music for you. And the main reason why he probably said it is because <laughs> he's like, man, this is ass. He's probably taking that in his head. He's like, oh, this is ass. This is ass. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so this is perfect. So this is going to be for free. Trust me, guys, it's going to be for free, and we're going to make sure that the producers feel like we had this toned down. <laughs> Genius marketing. Give me my goddamn uh, download, bitch. Anyways.
say these can be used for TV shows and Netflix shows, transitions, etc. A lot of people going to lose money behind this. Eh, bro, look, if you're being outdone by artificial intelligence, man, then you weren't that great of a composer in the first place. That's the way I look at it. That's the way I look at the shit. Like, in, in the first place, you weren't a great composer in the first place. If something can just snatch you like that, can take you out of the game. Just real talk. Like, on, on some real shit. If you, if you feel like that shit is going to really snatch your job, then, bro, you haven't been doing your, your own kind of... You have not been doing music long enough. And, and most people, yeah, you, if a company doesn't have a budget and they're not going to pay for your music or whatnot, and just so I don't, you know, feel like I'm, uh, I'm so superior or make people think that I'm trying to be superior or anything like that. If someone's not going to pay you for your work, then they're just not going to pay you for your work. Truth tr be told. Like, on some real shit, like, there are people out here, this is subdivision of people that are out in this world, and they will take, 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 and then when it comes down to them, they'll wonder why they don't get anything in life, and it's because they don't give enough. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that will always be their failure in a everything, because they think it's supposed to come easy, and clearly they won't emerge into anything worth a damn. And that just can be applied to any aspect in life. There are no shortcuts to this shit. And I hate to say it like that, but dog, there's no shortcuts to this shit. You can't just uh, cheat the game, dog. You can't cheat the game. <clears throat> um, let's see here. I, man, I lost your prompt, man, but that shit was hilarious. Uh, okay, I'm getting close to it. I know it. There it goes. No, no. Um, uh, yeah, I got some better J Dilla shit earlier. I don't know what the fuck was the shit that we just witnessed. It was uh, absolutely boo boo. Mm, where are we at? Where are we at? <clears throat> Five hundred dollars a month for the pro version. Well, that would be hilarious, though, if they did a pro version of Co-Producer and it was, like, absolute fire. Hilarious. Hey, look. This man said, maybe Dilla time. <clears throat> Dude, where is it at? There was a really good prompt earlier. It was hilarious. I could, when I was clowning, homie. I was saying that's, like, his style of beats. Dude, it's already gone. It's gone. <clears throat> yeah. It, it, I guess. But yeah, there was something. There was small smidges of some good stuff. Uh, the special effects shit was pretty cool. I forgot my other idea that I have. Oh, yeah. I was going to type in Neo Soul. See, this is, if I want a Neo Soul, I'll just type in like Neo Soul chord progression. Uh, Neo Soul E. I guess I'll type in electric piano. No, rose piano. Rose piano. Uh, I guess that is a, I'll capitalize it later. Neo Soul Rose Piano Chord Progression A Low Volume Saw Tooth Lead So P bass line uh, 
Um, hmm. I'll go with something, I guess, a little easy for C minor. No, C minor. Ninth. Eleventh. Ninety BPM. Female vocals. Female soul vocals. Sheesh. I wish I could put black woman vocals or some shit. Hey, hey, look, look, I'm racist. I'm racist. I'm admitting it. What's going on? You should type in soulful theme shaft type melody. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Something. Uh, de -de 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 -de. Dolomite ass producers. Uh, Tom Jones and, and 808. <laughs> yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like 808, 303, African something. Bruh, you type that shit in again, man. Type that shit in again. Mike Tyson on mushrooms type beat at 74 BPM. Come on, dog. <laughs> Y'all trying to get me knocked the fuck out. Uh, let's see, a pro version, co-producer, Sumas the Spirit. Nah, come on now. That's 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 reaching, dog. Don't do that. Alright. Alright. So female soul vocals. Uh Rose, I just capitalize that shit just in case. Light synth strings. Let's pray. That's that new Kanye. I listen to it too, guys. I listen to Vultures. I listened to it when I went to a workout. It was okay. I like the song New Body. That was pretty dope uh, with Nicki Minaj on there. Uh, the song that he has with, uh, where he's, he does the Backstreet Boys remake of the song. He probably has the worst verse, but eh. It's all right, though. With Charlie Wilson singing the hook. You know, I ain't gonna even hold you. Uh, I was really corny in school. So I did like the Backstreet Boys. Or I like hearing the song. I didn't, like, bop it personally. But I thought that song was pretty cool, though. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> you are <laughs> my fire. You are. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> so the Backstreet Boys are corny. Look like you ready to fight, boy. <laughs> He's like, they were corny. In a sense, yes, they were. Uh, and Instinct was definitely the better group, in my opinion. Um, maybe I'm Justin Timberlake biased. I don't know. You know it is what it is. But I liked, uh, I liked all that shit. You know, I liked all that shit. I, I used to think Britney Spears. Was, well, I still think I, I would definitely give Britney Spears the spear. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. But anyways, um, what the fuck? What the hell is in the in the air tonight? Let me find out which uh, the niggas in the goddamn center is coming. God damn, y'all shit. Y'all better cuss. <laughs> no, nah, it's it's rendering. No, nah, this came into this just became something toxic, and I kind of like that. So we're not really getting anything accomplished. <laughs> and pe clearly, people like watching this shit right now because it's toxic as fuck. And ain't got nothing else better to do. I'm trying to keep it as PG as possible. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to start putting parental advisory on my screens, man. Like, look, I got a daytime stream where it's going to be friend and family. <laughs> and then we go. <coughs> oh, shit. Yeah, bro. Uh, these live streams at night, they, they ain't for hide your kids. All right, so we got the prompt here. It's Neo Soul, Rose Piano, Core Progress, 
Oh my god, I didn't spell chord progression right. I hate all of y'all. Y'all didn't say it. Someone probably said something. God damn it. I'm gonna probably have to do that again. And this shit takes forever. I'm just lazy. I would probably have to take out that main lead. Why did I type that in there? Sawtooth lead? I put a low volume. A low, fuck it. A low sounding sawtooth. God damn it. You gotta type like normal people. All right, low sounding chord progression. Didn't sound like Neo Soul though, um, but I am keeping that. <laughs> I'm gonna download that bitch. Yeah, I can tweak that. Because you can actually delete, delete the uh, shit. Um, by the way, if you're just walking into the stream, uh, even if you get an idea when you're using the AI model, uh, it will give you not only the sound separately, so you get one shots. That's crazy, right? You get the stems, and then you get the full mix. So you can take out whatever you want and then replace it, or you can just play whatever. I don't know if it's tuned to C or anything like that. Someone in the chat, you know, just fill in the blanks for what I missed out on. All right, pack two, what does it sound like? Oh, it started off good, but it's starting to fall apart. I can already tell. All right. It had potential. No. Say, it sounds like Mike Dean ate too many shrooms. It's absolutely hilarious. Say that Sawtooth messed it up. I'll, I'll delete that. Definitely heard those pianos before. Definitely heard those pianos before when I typed in jazz chords. So it does give you some of the same progression. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It might be someone might be right. Somebody might be right about that. Ah. We got, got him. Ah. So it is. Mmm. Output, you got some explaining to do. Definitely heard that pianos. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Lee said he fell in love with FL Studio. It's funny. Yep. Yeah, definitely heard those pianos before. If you go back to my video, my original video on my channel, that, it has that in there. So, yeah, I don't know. The, whoever left that comment, it wasn't out of hate. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. Ain't that about a bitch? I try to give him the benefit of the doubt. Hmm. Said I have to download it. I didn't download the, I, th I don't think I did download that other one. I did download the other one, though. All right, so let's get rid of the 11th. So don't, you don't need all that extra stuff. Uh, Neo Soul, and actually Neo Soul starts with like a C, like a C major. So honestly, or it doesn't start with a C major, but usually a major chord kind of opens it up. Uh, shit. Something like a flat. Say, I want this. Is it free? Yeah, all this royalty free, everything It's free to use it. It's royalty free to use it. So it doesn't come with anything else. So low sounding sawtooth. Let's delete that. 
All right. This is too much fun because y'all motherfuckers is in here get, have me laughing like hell. Man. All right. So we deleted all the boo-boo shit. Maybe, again, I, I could have changed that to like a C major or something. Whatever. The first one was okay. I'm guessing it's Google Chrome. Yeah, it's Google Chrome. <clears throat> what, you over, what you trying to do, bro? You over here talking a little bit too much. Who in the... Uh, some, some, some hit the keys. Who in the hell is Oscar Slap? He's, he seems to be associated with you. Let me know who he is. Because this man, this is the first time I've seen this person over here. You know how I am. I question. I question people. <laughs> so people show up, I'll be like, hmm. Frank Zappa. Oh, yeah, for sure. Damn, man. And see, this is not really taking long, but as time has went past in our lives, we have been become more impatient. And, dude, I kid you not. Yeah. Mm. Boy, we have entered... Hilarious. Hey, hold on, guys. <laughs> hold on. Shit. It's the sea it is the season, goddamn. Tis the not damn season. <laughs> yeah. Love it when people are. I've been watching <laughs> since your first channels. <laughs> Let me find out. You, you, this is like your troll account. You just changed your name or some shit. <laughs> Tyrone Sellers was going on how all the cowboys are bringing str strangers around. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, some, some, some is a cowboys fan. Are you kidding me? I'm going to show y'all what Neo Soul sounds like in a second. It's all right. The bass is in my way. Okay. I kind of like the, the vocal, but it is a little bit of a pish posh. All right. We downloading that. Nah, I don't want to. I'm not thumbs up in that. Definitely heard those uh, keys that are playing in the background before. So basically, I guess their database is like loops. I don't know if it's from arcade, but what it probably did is had like loops that, you know, they didn't want to use or something like that. And they threw it in the database uh, with tags. So that's why I think that they did, they did as far as building it up. Flip it on the EP-133, and not tonight. And then on top of that, I don't have enough space on my EP-133. The other night it ran out. Mm. Mm. Appreciate that, Oscar. It's not bad. It's not terrible. You can make something out of that, but, uh, shit. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, so let's go ahead and start the proceedings of the evening here. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to make 
a folder. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, I can't show y'all the screen because I got I got some shit. I got some shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna even hold you. I'm gonna hype y'all brains up, but I I'm just gonna I'm gonna make it an output. Um co-producer. Producer file uh kits. Alright. Make the output co-producer kits. I gotta go into my download folder here and uh grab all the shit that I have. Damn, I didn't know I did that many yesterday. Fuck me. Holy crap. I I've been playing with this damn co-producer shit. But yeah, that's why I know recognize some of the you know BS or some of the things that and I'm like, yeah. But I do what I think their databases is they took a gang of loops, they used their already established tag based system, uh, dumped all the loops in there, gave them all different kinds of tags. And then every single time that you type in like a hot keyword or something like that, uh, you end up getting a version of those sounds. So, you know, you know, they gave all the, da the data that is necessary for it to kind of mesh. That's why you get some things that kind of mesh together and some things that don't, you know what I'm saying? And then they got some wild shit uh that has been merged in there too so i that's what i think because they still i mean it's still they built a database but it's not as refined as we think it's not coming out of thin air and honestly most ai right about now especially you know the new search engine bait themed ones they they're based off of stuff that already exists so that's why you have that kind of weird vibe to almost every single last one of the loops that is 100% what they did. I know that for a fact. <clears throat> they can say whatever they want. <laughs> I I will believe otherwise. Boop. Uh, let's see here. One more file. And we are about to F around and find out. But before we do that, I will make sure that you guys know what Neo Soul is supposed to sound like. And it will be featured by none other than my brother, who is godlike on the keys, and that is Musician Paradise. So, huh? Try stand the mix. What? Oh no! So they don't come with their own. Oh, know the all. Okay, maybe that'll work. That sucks. Anyways, I can show the process there, the Oracle, but I disagree sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I, ain't, I don't want you guys to agree with everything I say. I, that will be so, you know what I'm saying? That's pretentious. That's controlling for me to make y'all agree. You don't agree with me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hell no. That's not what I'm about. I hate people like that. People that you always gotta, uh, uh oh. Well, I don't have anything in here, but still, though, I don't want y'all be on no weird shit. I, I ain't got no, uh, bootleg shit or anything like that, but I do have some shit. <laughs> and we're like, oh my god, so it is coming out. <laughs> I want you be like that. Mm. I already had, I already been in enough trouble. Oh, I'm about to, mmm. Mm, okay. Y'all y'all about to <laughs> Where am <I> going? <laughs> Why you come back sweating? <laughs> what? You better stop playing. <laughs> you better stop playing. Goddamn street. I'm like, hey, 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 if you got any kids. <laughs> Oh, you think I'm playing? Okay. You think I'm playing. <laughs> Screen gonna get dark on you. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Somebody gonna be sore as hell. Somebody gonna be sore as hell. And I'm gonna be sleep like a baby. <laughs> the fuck? Alright, keep fucking with me. Keep fucking with me, baby girl. Alright. <laughs> Ooh -wee. What's going on, William, uh, William E. Ramsey? All right, let's open up this Loops of Fruity. 
Okay. I've had enough fun. <laughs> Give me a sec. I gotta get my MPC up here. Oh, shit. I'm gonna show you how uh, Neo Soul is supposed to sound like. Uh, I gotta plug this thing up, of course. Oh, of course my FL Studio is up here because I was editing videos for tomorrow. Look at, oh yeah, damn. I gotta make sure that I upgrade my FL. Mm. Yeah, keep on, keep on playing with me. Keep on playing with me, ma. Hey, this, this right here is gonna turn into a different kind of stream. It's gonna be like twitching this bitch. <laughs> oh, shit. You gonna fuck up the money fucking with me, girl. <laughs> you gonna fuck up the money fucking with me. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you for the dono, my brother. I really do appreciate it. Um, let's get this shit up here. I appreciate y'all for this extra content. I ain't gonna lie. It's been it's been hella funny right now. It's been hella funny. Let's see here. Uh let's see. Uh damn. Oh, okay, there you go. I'm gonna show y'all how ah, never mind. I almost got caught. <sighs> okay. Program. Damn. And I just thought about that too. Okay, cool. That's all right. So I'm going to show you what Neo Soul is going to sound supposed to sound like. Let me pull up a plugin I like. Mm hmm. Pull up the baby, Electra. And then we're going to go over here. And we had. Streaming for two hours here. Hmm. Where my shit at? I... I'm broke, nigga. I'm broke. You can have this donation if you block all of them cowboys in here. Mm, it's hilarious. It's absolutely crazy. There we go. Crash. All right. Crash. Um. And then I'm going to pull up a core progression on the NPC. Let's go over here. I'm going to show you what Neo Soul sounds like. I might have to pick out a, a better sound. Yep. Let's go with... That's how Neo Soul is supposed to sound like. Maybe not the uh, extra. Thank you, Oscar. I appreciate you, my guy. get something a little not so wild something smoother but 
Uh, yeah, that's how Neo Soul is supposed to sound like. So you wish you had FL Studio on a PC? Why? What am I missing here? MPC Live Controller, uh, Symphon FL Studio, not running MPC plugin. Dude, I had a whole tutorial on how to do that. You don't need the MPC software to do that. <clears throat> um, I only use the MPC software when I want to do certain things like sample and stuff, because you know, sampling in FL Studio sucks. All right. Where are we at, bruh? Oh, do I have to refresh it? Damn, what's the refresh button on it? Oh, there, it's up here. I could have sworn I put it in that folder. All right. Uh, it might be under O. Okay, output co-producer kits. Oh, those are the, there we go. That was the, the shit from earlier. All right. So I do, I did notice that when you, if you're going to do this, like you might want to do separate folders for each and every individual kit because it will put it in sample packs and all that stuff. But the mix files with all the, all your stuff in there, it will be gone. This is all the drum kits and stuff that I made earlier uh, doing the J. Dilla prompt. Uh, it's not loud right now because I have the volume turned down. So. I was like, that's okay. That's the stuff. I don't think we did any of these in the, uh, this stream. This is the stuff I did earlier. But as you can see, it's in the same folder. This is all AI generated, I guess, if you want to call it that. But I had to pull. See, I don't have the mix file. That's the only thing that sucks. Or the track stems. It, it all see how it does all that, and then this one mix. You know what I'm saying? But that one's pretty good though. It's all AI shit. Yeah, these are all the separate tracks, huh? So yeah, you have to. Fuck. Oh, that shit all the way over here. Hitting my right ear. Yeah, everybody's gonna have this right here. I promise you that. Everybody's gonna have that right there. That's unfortunate, but whatever. So let's, in theory, you would just go on about your business. You already know it's gonna be Serato in this bitch. Like who, who in the hell would not use Serato? Come on, man, where is Serato? <laughs> oh, Serato. Yo, I don't think I'm gonna make it. 
<laughs> Your boy's got, uh... <laughs> oh, he got something to do. To say, to say the, uh... <laughs> something to do. Stop, stop. Stop. For real, <laughs> you playing. We're playing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. Just give me a few. All right, so, uh, <laughs> uh, correct, crack Serato. No, I bought Serato. Uh, I was a part of the first public beta with, uh, way back in the day. I think 2016, I bought it uh, half price, but now the price is incredibly insane. <laughs> Maybe, damn, I don't have the pressure kit. Fuck. Damn, that's why I forgot to download. Or do I? Or, or yeah, hold on. Sound creative, sound creative, sound creative, sound creative. Uh, no, I did not. Damn it, man. Well, what, what's in this one right here? Um, yeah. I know they got, he has some really hard shit up in here. Come on, man. Where's the drums? There we go. He always be naming shit weird. This one, you know. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. All right. I got to do this dumb shit in FL Studio every single time. I really hate this about FL, but I'll deal with it. <clears throat> All right, 808. Let's get a hat. And uh, put it here. I actually like that. It's a hat, but it, I'm going to use it as a. Yeah. All right. Uh, eight bars. Move this out the way. Move this out the way. Oh, boy. <laughs> Your boy. I'm speed running right now. God damn it. but it's going to be something like that right there. Uh, metronome. Oh, no, 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 no. That is too slow. Um, what we got now? Yeah. my damn settings so that the uh, DAW lifestyle over the the drum machine I could never and I can just lose that yep I heard that there uh-huh 
せで。I believe it's E major. We'll find out in a second. Damn, this man's head away is nasty. Maybe not on here. All right, let me shorten up that eight oh eight a little bit. Hi-hat, so I'm gonna just go with a、uh, normal hi-hat. 
the, the trap classic, fuck that. shit ever um god damn it fuck me running uh, let me just go ahead and just replace that shit or clone it and then i'll just replace it with a goddamn fuck me running and uh i gotta find that base again and then i gotta tweak it again fuck me fuck very funny very funny <laughs> i i i am is am is am is M is gonna do that. Which one was it? I, I might go with this one. This one sounds better. But guys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Um. Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, let's fix this dumbass shit right here. Uh, 1200 a good plug-in yeah it is I just don't have the time to be sitting here throwing stuff in there just to get a 12-bit sound I don't really care about that I'll just go ahead and just put a <laughs> put an effect on it you know what I'm saying um but it's a good plug-in it is very good for processing it comes with a really dope ass drum line I mean not drum line drum kits you know what I'm saying so you know good library of sounds and uh, uh, um, crash. I want to use this shit. And let's just take everything out of the fucking thing. Um, what was this? I'll use something else from fucking output. I mean, not, yeah, from output. <laughs> AI, but let's go over here and uh, do some chords because we we don't uh, we're lazy. Um, let's grab some major though. Uh, all right. Well, maybe not from that. That uh. Mm -mm. You sure? Is that a, supposed to be a C? 
the fuck did I just do? Whoops. Um, let's just go with something. What the fuck is that on my toe? So maybe I can go with something simple like chart. What's what the fuck is the chart shit? Is it? I can't remember. Is it pop or is it something else? Pop. No, it can't be a um, can't be a major. Why in the hell is it a capital E then? Hmm. Dude, uh, gospel. I got a lot of shit in here. It might be. And I keep on doing that because I'm an idiot. Fuck it. Precious. There we go. Cool.
for plugins in my fucking FL Studio. It's like, dude, I'm about to delete every Waze plugin I got. Just say fuck it. Because, dude, I'm not about to go through all this every single time I go in here. And the same thing could be said about my damn t rack shit. Dude, this is insane. Uh, I just want fucking roast beef, bro. Jesus. All right. I'm just going to use roast beef. And I need to make sure that I have it to where. Uh, oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. Uh, presets. Uh, what is it? Momentary. Yeah. Uh, we're just going to go with the original shit. I can't even find flex beat. <laughs> uh, half speed. There we go. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, Jody. Appreciate that. I keep on forgetting, bro. Like I'm, I'm trying to get back in my flow. Uh, let's see here. I need to make some um string related shit. I like that for a, a, a top line, I guess. It's not gonna be overwhelming. I might get ocean view shit. Fuck. All right, use that. I kind of I was looking for that. I might have already used that. Did I use Jack Boys? No, just use Uranus. <laughs> the fuck in hilarious.
Really? That's weird. save it whatever it's just an idea fuck it all right uh, trap tendo co-producer <laughs> buy output hilarious i bet you there's so many people that are playing with this shit right now they don't want to admit it anybody know what doll he's using <laughs> you asshole that that doll I'm about to be using right now is Ableton. Nah, for real. It's that FL, boy. <laughs> he's being funny. He's being funny, Jay Diggity. <laughs> he's a FL, he's 100% the FL gang uh, resounding member. Uh, let's see. Anyways, um, I guess I'll just play it in the background here, huh? So it's not that bad. Like, I'll put our, I was about to say, I'll put Arcade. That'd be funny, because that is that is the meme right now. Uh, output co-producer's not bad. Uh, you can definitely make something with it. I mean, it's not hard. That last key in that beat sounded very sus. Uh, let's see. Okay, never mind. Uh, so, do I have a video on it? How to use the NPC? Uh, hold on, give me, give me a sec. I give it to you. Pause. Pause. Yeah. Do, 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 do. All right, you gotta go over here. Uh, it's right over here. I'm gonna post it in the chat. I'll use my NPC with, uh, well, it's, it's, it's gonna have a little bit more. But uh, let me see, come on, man, where is it at? There we go, hybrid workflow NPC. Uh, can I, god damn it. 
Don't play the fucking video. Just fucking load it. Nigga, the most useful video, one of the most useful videos on my channel. It only has like 14,000 views. Hilarious. Boop. There you go. I think the beat I made in there is trash anyway, so maybe that might be it. Or it might be the gray hairs. It might be a, the gray hairs in that. I don't know. Who knows? People make up their mind of what they what they really want from a play out on the internet. And I don't got time for a lot of silliness. But anyways, God bless y'all. Y'all have a good night, because I will. Peace out, motherfucker.